Hi, my name is Matt Dagley, and this is The Daily. We're uh, on our way to uh, PEI, Prince Edward Island. You think you're ready? Yeah? You ready? All right. Let's go. KFC with a bucket! So we're at Gillis's drive-in? Drive-in restaurant. Drive-in restaurant. In Montague? Montague. Montague. <laughs> That's deuce for you. What are you getting? I don't know. I have to look at the menu. What are you getting? Cheeseburger? Platter? Milkshake. Tri triple cheeseburger with bacon? Yeah. <laughs> Big one. I already know what I'm getting because I looked it up online. <laughs> Ordered some burgers. Oh, yeah, onion rings coming. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be yummy. <laughs> What's that face mean? <laughs> Hamburger not bad. Bun's not bun. I wouldn't give any high expectations on the bun. So we just finished up at Gillis's. Opened Gil in 19. Gillis's. Gil <laughs> we got a Islander in the back. Um. <laughs> 1965, when I was only nine years old. Anyway, it opened in 1965, so it's the old school uh, drive-in diner. Uh, style so you drive in you put on your four-way flashers and uh, they come out and, and uh, take your order how was yours it was pretty good it had pei fries. fries so they're always good things oh, yeah. so what do you think of the uh, food deuce Kosa buns the rest of it good so I kind of agree with deuce the uh, the burger bun uh, it wasn't great. It was kind of uh, soft, so it kind of soaked into the toppings on the burger. But uh, everything else was really good. The onion rings were excellent. And uh, oh yeah, and the coleslaw I wasn't crazy about. It uh, wasn't creamy. I like uh, more of a creamy coleslaw. But uh, Erica really liked the coleslaw, so. I had three servings of coleslaw. So now we're going to some historic site where they dress up like old people. <laughs> no, uh, what was it? 17? 1732, they uh, personate uh, those people. <laughs> Impersonate. <laughs> no? No. It's a historical reenactment. Bunch of impersonators. <laughs> Just like they do in the States when they have the Civil War reenactments. They have Civil War reenactments in the States. It's the same thing. Period costume. We're in the sticks now. Roads aren't even paved. That's your compass. Tells you where to go. Remember driving around one of those when you were a teenager? Yeah. Yeah, we used to race them at the racetrack. Go right fast. We get we get a big two-cylinder motor and put them in and soak them right up. Oh, she'd go fast. 20, 25 miles an hour. We take you through and tell you all about what it was like to live here in that time. Take you all about, tell you about the daily jobs, daily life, everything. In today's time, what we do is every morning we light a burning fire in this. We get it going for about two hours and we put it out when it's about 100 degrees, or 1,000 degrees on the back wall, excuse me. Hold 
everything in the garden is completely edible and there's no chemicals used. I feel like a chive. <laughs> but chives, at the time they would have used them as an antiseptic. So what you do is if you have a slight cut, they would mush it up into a paste or grind it with possibly a mortar and pestle, rub it on the skin and it could catch the early phases of it. So I dressed up like a boy because if you came to Roma and you were a boy, then you could work and you could make some money, but you had to pretend to be a boy. And if people caught me, then I would be hung. So I better talk in my boy voice so that no one will know. It's what everybody think of uh, Roma, are y'all? History oh, up or what? Yeah, it's quite interesting. <laughs> I never even knew it was here. I lived here all 64 years of my life. I never even knew it. But no, it's quite interesting. Does that say how far back in the woods we are or what? Yeah, yeah we are now. <laughs> off, yeah. off the path? Yeah, we're off the beaten path. <laughs> That's for sure. No, it's quite interesting. It was fun. I like history stuff. How was your ice cream? Dairy free deliciousness. What kind do you have? Sunday with pineapple. Good pineapple. Maritime pineapple. Really good. <laughs> I had the uh, blueberry sundae and it was delish. No, a <laughs> hashtag amazeballs. Oh, right, yeah. On their sign, it says hashtag amazeballs. All right, thanks a lot. That's the end. I got uh, lots of video editing to do as always. So I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. More from uh, Prince Edward Island coming up in future episodes. See ya. Hi, my name is Matt Dagley. This is The Daily. Um, you think you're ready? Uh, over the summer, we went to uh, PEI for a week and I got tons of footage. So this is part one of PEI Adventures and I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> Start again.